Hey guys, welcome back. Reese and Ben here with Pursuing the Natalie Arts. And today, Ben and I are working through uh, some more plays with the Gladiatoria, MS Court 16. Uh, today, we got to play with really cool uh, counter to getting a point uh, couch in, the, in your armpit. So, um, today we worked through uh, 18V and 19R. Previous video we showed briefly in our introduction video on uh, how some of the mechanics behind getting a point couch into someone's armpit. So what you're doing in that point is you're you're getting your point to catch between the rings and you're couching it to compress that soft tissue from underneath. So uh, luckily for us, uh, they tell you exactly what to do in that situation. And uh, they have some really interesting uh, ways to, to leverage out of it. All right, so now we're getting to the part where we explain a little bit uh, more detail about uh, couching the point. So uh, whether, whether it being half sword, spear, pole axe, whenever you get a point in, you need to then add some structure behind it to, uh, to compress the soft tissue. So uh, in fact, when you're couching the point, uh, you're not only getting your point maybe about half an inch or so to get past those rings, but that the act, the motion of you twisting it and getting a couch in your armpit there is actually potentially damaging the rings, hopefully causing the rings to pop and separate. So whether you would be in there for maybe half an inch or so, if you pop that ring, now you're in there an inch or two inches, and now you're compressing it. So when we're we're talking about compressing or couching the point in, uh, this adds a couple of things to the equation. One, I'm you know this gives me more stability but also I'm now putting my body behind it, right? So now all I have to do at this point, I don't have to grip the sword with my hand, I can just walk forward and press forward, right? So if you just place the point and don't couch it, I can push him away. If he pushes here and he couches, now I can't push him. I'm, I'm, I'm structurally over. stronger because I've got this, I've got my skeletal structure in line, I'm using my core and that's, a lot stronger than muscles, right? So if I'm out here with my muscles, easily pushing me away, right? So couch here with like, a, like that, and I'm structurally stronger, right? So also a key point, uh, posture is a huge part of this too. Uh, you notice in the treatises that uh, all these guys in harness, their posture is all upright. And that's not just by coincidence, it's not like looking cool, uh, but you are mechanically stronger that way. And it's especially important in harness uh, being that now we've got 80 pounds of steel on us, we're now more top heavy. So the thing, the last thing you should be doing is leaning into your strike. Uh, we will do a, a follow-up video with this uh, later on, kind of covering the, the mechanics of this in, in depth. But we feel it's important to explain this a little bit for the, the techniques you're about to see with the Gladiatoria uh, 18V and 19R. So we'll show you guys that next. This is uh, our interpretation of this technique. When one has placed his sword point to the chest of the other, do not forget what to do in this situation. Raise your elbow and lever their arm down, removing their point from your armpit or chest and inserting your point to their chest. Uh, we commonly see chest used in reference to a target and we believe that that means armpit uh, without specifically saying armpit. And now I'll have Reese stab at my armpit and I will attempt to pull off the technique. When he has placed his point with strength onto your chest, then grasp his left wrist with your left hand and push him away from you with your point so you can move his point onto your left shoulder. Then thrust down into his foot as you see in the picture above. Working through this technique, I found it was uh, very important to work out the timing to where you push off your left hand on your opponent's wrist and using your sword point to push off your opponent's cuirass at the same time then suck in the opponent's blade into past your armpit and buys you time to thus stab the top of his foot.
All right, so uh, we just wrapped up with uh, some of the techniques, and uh, now we're going to give you guys our uh, conclusions and uh, what we uh, what our initial thoughts were and what we discovered uh, from doing this. So, uh, Ben. Oh, from doing the uh, 18V, uh, I looked at it a while back and uh, without really looking too deep in it because we were covering a lot of the laboratory material, uh, I thought it was a, a deflection from a thrust. Uh, it does actually work as a deflection. Um, it, as far as the technique is, is showed in the uh, manuscript, that's not how it's intended. Um, it, you just, in the, the act of deflecting a strike coming in the, the under with intent and force, you can't line up correctly uh, to, sh to reflect the artwork. Uh, we did find that when somebody has couched a point into your armpit, all of a sudden uh, it makes perfect sense. You use your sword as a lever against their arm and use your arm, which has armor against it, so you're not worried about the edge cutting you or anything, and you just crank them down. Uh, the force of you cranking them down also pushes the point away from you, so it uncouches it. Uh, and gets it out of your armpit and then pops it out and into a harmless place against my cuirass where it lines my point exactly with their armpit and I'm already in a position where I'm structurally sound, I'm couched to my side and all I have to do is lean in and apply my point to, to my opponent's armpit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, uh, it, was, it was pretty interesting for me, uh, from my perspective, because I mean, when we're doing this stuff normally in, in, in tournaments, deeds of arms and stuff, they usually count the point as immediate, like, okay, you got it, that, that's it, you know, that's, but, but from here, you know, I've got this thing, not only in his armpit, but now I've couched it, you know, I feel really strong in this position, right, so I'm thinking there's no way he can get out of this, well, you know, just by doing that motion forward and popping his elbow up, all that structure was immediately gone. Uh, with mine, uh, the 19R, when he's got his, his point on me, and again, thinking he's got me, uh, now um, his arm is now closest to me, so I can shove his, his wrist back, or grab his wrist, shoving his wrist back, but then doing the unthinkable and bringing it forward on me as I'm pushing with my point against his cuirass. So pushing that forward at the same time, getting that point trapped underneath here, uh, he, we, we tried it. He tried yeah. to, he tried to get out of it. He couldn't snag out of it, and then gave me all the time in the world to stab his top, the top yeah. of his foot. <clears throat> I definitely felt the uh, the extra point when you put your sword against my my cuirass and pushed. That locked me up to the point that I couldn't move from the uh, position. Because if you just grab my hand and try to push me, I can change my direction. I can change my angle. I can move. But when you actually put your sword against my cuirass and push me, you physically push me away. So I couldn't counter what you were about to do, which was position me under your arm and suck me in. Mm -hmm. And once you sucked me in, locked me with my, my cuff on my gauntlet, you had your thumb in there, my hand was trapped, I couldn't get away. So now all I can do is wiggle around on you and try to hopefully throw you off balance while not getting stabbed in the foot. Yeah. You think with this stuff, like, why on earth would I shove him back but then bring his point back in? That seems counterintuitive, right? But uh, it makes total sense, you know. Uh, being that we play with it, once so you experience it. Yeah, once you experience it. So, uh, if you guys like, like what you see, uh, be sure to give us a like in the video. Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to share it with your friends. So, as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.